What good are system event logs if you can't view them? In this video, I'm going to show you how to view Windows event logs using the built-in Windows event log viewer application and give you some tips and tricks if you ever have to review them without using a SIM tool. But first, if this is the first time that we're meeting, welcome to my channel. My name is John Good, and here I get to spread my passion for cybersecurity training, tips and tricks, and career advice to help you go further. Remember to smash the thumbs up to like this video, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss future content, and make sure to leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. If you like my training and you want more, check out my website at johngood.com to access full training courses without distracting interruptions or advertisements. Make sure that you sign up for my newsletter using the link in the description to get your free copy of my ebook on cybersecurity careers. You can also join me on the Discord server. The link is down in the description. All right, let's get into the video. If you spend any time studying technology or working in the field, there's an overwhelming pressure to automate processes and aggregate data review to make things easier to do. It makes sense, right? No question that as the networks that you work on grow in size, you've got to use scalable ways of doing things. This video subject is a little counterintuitive to that because in cybersecurity, there's situations where you might have to look at a single system in isolation. For example, if a system is compromised, then we might actually want to look at that individual system for indicators of compromise. We might also have to perform forensics to discover suspicious or illegal behavior. When we look at a single system, we aren't going to typically install a full-blown SIM or log analysis tool. Instead, the Windows Event Viewer is one of those most basic tools that we can use to review an individual system. The Windows Event Viewer is a tool that's built into Windows and it lets you view events or alerts from applications, the system itself, and even security events that you're watching. The Windows Event Viewer can also be used by administrators to troubleshoot system issues, but as security professionals, we use it for deeper analysis of a system's logs. When we're looking to open the Event Viewer to view different logs, the first step is to actually launch the Event Viewer. It can be done a few different ways, but the easiest way is to go to the Start menu and then type Event Viewer. And there we go, and we'll just open that up. And let me go ahead and resize this here so it's a little bit cleaner. Now, once you launch the Event Viewer, you'll see a few different folders here on the left side. The Custom Views folder allows you to create custom filters based on event IDs, applications, and so on. The Windows Log folder is where standard events are stored, and you have three main event logs. So let's open this up so you can see them. But you have application, security, and system. Those are three of the major logs for Windows. Each log stores the type of events that it sounds like. Application holds specific events for software installed. Security stores security relevant events like log on and log off events. And system has everything related to the operating system itself. Now, the second way that you can open this up as well, we'll do the similar kind of way by going to the start menu and we'll open up computer management. And then on the left side here, you'll have the event viewer. So two different ways that you can do the same thing. I hope that you're enjoying the content in this video so far. If you are, make sure to hit the thumbs up to like this video. And if you think of any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Also remember that this training and full courses can be found on my website at johngood.com without distracting interruptions or advertisements. All right, let's get back to the content. Now I'm going to show you how to filter the specific logs for the events that you wanna see. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the security log here. And I don't have any special settings configured, so this is just all the default stuff. But in order to filter this specific log, we're gonna to go to filter current log, and we're actually gonna use event IDs. So I'm just gonna take this 4624, this log on event that we see in here. And so I go to this line here and I'm going to type in 4624 because that's the event ID. Now we could also do it by application or a lot of different things, but we're just gonna do it by that event ID so you can see that now. And then I'm gonna hit okay. And there we go, now it filtered it down it had 583 events and it filtered it down to 94. You can see that they're all that specific event. 
Now, something else that you can do in there as well, you can actually provide ranges of IDs or you can also provide multiple. So if you had another one that you wanted to put in there, you could just put a comma and then whatever the other event is that you wanna filter it by. Next, I wanna take you through creating a custom view. Custom views are great if you wanna quickly see specific events using event IDs or even related to specific applications. Custom filters can be exported to other systems and then imported on those systems. There are two different ways that you can create a custom view. The first way is actually filtering that system log like we just did, and then we're actually gonna save this filter to a custom view. And we'll just name this test one. Okay, and then it saves it in the custom view section. So then instead of going back to the system log and actually filtering down, we can just go to this custom view here. Okay, and then if you right click the custom view, you can export the custom view and it just saves it as an XML file that you would go back into the other computer wherever you're taking it. And then you can right click on custom views and import custom view and then find the XML file. The second way that we can create a custom view is if you right click on the custom views folder and then you do create custom view and then you can select the specific information. If you wanted it to come from the security log specifically, then you can drill down here and then you can also enter in the ID and everything just like we just did. So if we put in 1102 here, that is for event logs being cleared. And then we would have it in here. So if I go in here and then I clear the log, that should generate an event for us to see. Yep, and there we go. So cleared by the administrator. Now question of the day, what has been your experience with the Windows Event Viewer? Did you even know that it existed? Let me know down in the comments below. In this video, we focused on using the Windows Event Viewer to review local system logs. Remember that there will be times in your career where you have to review a single system's events or situations where it just doesn't make sense to use an enterprise grade analysis tool. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my website at johngood.com for more training without interruptions or advertisements, and I'll see you next time.